<laughs> Hi! <laughs> okay, it's Delisa. Jennifer. Oh my gosh, and we are in 2019. 2019, can you believe it? Thank God. Like, thank God. <laughs> oh my God. We're going to talk a little here. bit about 2018 and what we just left behind and then 2019 and what's coming in. I just say thank God for 2019. <laughs> But I do. I have my notes. I've got everything written down of what I'm going to talk to you about uh, with the out and then in with the new. But how were your holidays? My holidays were good, but I'm glad it's January. <laughs> I'm ready for January. How were your holidays? Uh, good. I stayed in for New Year's. Me too. Yeah. I, I wrote my list of everything I was letting go of and then I stuck it in the freezer yeah. I was telling my daughter about that. Can, what does that do? Yeah, so you can write down everything you want to release. So even if you just didn't do it for a new year, you can do it whenever you need to. But you take a piece of paper and you write everything. And then you fold it and you stick it in your freezer. And you and I were talking about it on New Year's Eve. <laughs> yeah, you were texting me, but I wasn't sure what all that meant. And so you said, how long do you keep in the freezer? Yeah, because I And I said, it. it's... I have a bunch in my freezer, so, um, and I made a joke that one day, maybe a gentleman will come to my place and open the freezer for some ice cubes and find all my letters. Um, <laughs> so you just like put letters of paper like this in the, in the freezer? Yeah, I wrote it, I wrote it all down, what I want to let go of, and it's like freezing them out. Okay. Yeah, so, and then when you feel like you're done, and it's... Um, done being frozen then you can pull it out and throw them away burn them whatever but I have a few in my freezer what are you so. letting go of oh okay. do you want to share anything there's a lot um a lot of a lot of stuff um I was I, yeah I wasn't planning on talking about all my letter stuff oh. but a lot of it was um letting go of people, situations, relationships that were not in my highest and best interest. And that's not always personal relationships or business or whatever. It's just a lot of different pieces where I look at it and go, yeah, what was that lesson there? Mm. And so a lot of like writing out the descriptions and, and why I was letting it go. So so it no longer serves you and you didn't want to bring in to 2019? Yes. Okay. Yeah. 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 I like that. It was a two-page letter. <laughs> Yeah, so Happy New Year. Let us know in the comments where you're watching from. Uh, we love to, to hear. Uh, city, state would be great. If you're not living in the, uh, the U.S., let us know what country you're watching from. We're actually doing something really fun. We're, <laughs> you don't see our behind the scenes, but we have three, yes, three One, uh, cameras and tripods and lights and things up for our <clears throat> production today. <laughs> So thank you for watching everyone and joining us today. Yeah, so we know that we're at least reaching over 20,000 people with our our video streaming today, which is fun. I just got nervous a little bit. Don't get nervous. It's fine. But we're on Facebook and Instagram. And uh, we're on Spiritual Educator, which is your Instagram account. Mm -hmm. We've got the Spirit and Spark Instagram account going. And then we've got our Facebook fan page for Spirit and Spark. So we're all over the place today. Worldwide. 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 Internet. <laughs> Love the internet. Yeah. The, inter the internet is our friend. I don't think it's going anywhere. <laughs> so the format for today's live video broadcast, we haven't done this in a few weeks. It was the holidays. I got sick a few times. <laughs> like, <laughs> So you didn't want sniffling Delisa on, on your internet feed. So um, yeah, we're coming to you live and direct. What's today? The 3rd? The 3rd of January. The 3rd of January. And everyone is off from vacation now. I, yeah. I was almost late today. I had to go run a few errands and every single person was running errands today. So it was a lot of fun. But we made it and we're here. here. I'm here. Bring it in 2019 on a good <gasps> note, on a high note. Are you excited for 2019? Are you as excited as I am for 2019? I can't hear anything. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear you. <laughs> so if you're if you're excited as I am, let me know. Let me yeah. know I'm not alone here in my in my excitement. <laughs> I'm excited. 
So what? Tell us what what brings oh. um, 2019. First, before we talk about 2019, oh, okay. I want to talk about what we just let go of, because I want you to tell me if this sounds familiar to you. Since we're three days into 2019. Does 2018 sound familiar when I say it contained a lot of division and polarity? Yes, lots of division and polarity. Brandy's joining us to our shamanic, angelic sh um, shaman, and we hear her going, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, so a lot of division and polarity. A lot of us versus them. So a lot of like singular individual action and then that would clash against what other people wanted. So a lot that of us versus them. 2018. 2018. Okay, yeah, that sounds familiar. Love and hate. Mm. War and peace. Material versus spiritual. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a big one. The mission that we were tasked with whether or not you accepted it as a whole other thing, but the mission we were tasked with in 2018 was to discover responsibility in ourselves and with others. So basically, did you take responsibility for yourself and the world around you? Did you take responsibility? Did you own your ish? Yeah, not freely, not open. <laughs> I, I did fight a little bit. So what did you fight against? Okay, um, <laughs> since you're gonna call me out. Against? Okay, um, respecting others and where they're at and where I'm at and, and being true to me and not trying to change myself for other people. Okay. Because that was something that I did a lot. And then that was this last year was like, okay, it's time for you to live for you and become responsible for yourself. Like what you were talking about. Yeah, that was a big one for me. So it sounds year. like you were right in alignment with what 2018 had to offer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I definitely felt it. The division, the polarity, individual versus, you know, somebody else's needs. Oh, good grief. Yeah, go, go look at my freezer if you want the, the details. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Okay, so you ready for 2019? I, I'm ready. Okay. Yeah. I know. I'm so excited to <clears throat> read my list. <clears throat> um, and after we do this, we're going to take questions from viewers. So hang in there with us as we do this. And then we'll get to your questions. We'll do some card readings and stuff for you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We didn't even talk about, like, who we are. So I'm Delisa. You're Jennifer. I'm Jennifer. Hi. <laughs> Uh, so I'm the owner of Spirit and Spark or a boutique soul center. Uh, we're located in Las Vegas, but we have clients all over the country. It's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Jennifer is one of our psychic mediums. Uh, she's very popular. She's very popular. I, I'm popular. I, you're I popular. Guess. I'm cool. <laughs> you're, well, I'll take it. <laughs> a lot of clients love you. Yes, you're very popular. Um, but yeah, we do sessions in Las Vegas. And we do also do them over the phone. It's actually the perfect, perfect time to have a session done. Whether you meet with our astrologer over the phone or in person to get your forecast and what's coming in 2019, or you get a psychic reading. Um, or you meet with somebody like Brandy, our angelic shaman, to get all of your energy like busted out and ready for the new year. So keep that in mind. Uh, you may want to reach out to us now in order to get in for January. <laughs> Just saying. And we do phone sessions as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Clients all over. It's fun. I love it. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. We're lucky to be able to do what we do. So... Okay, <clears throat> 2019, let's talk about the good stuff first. Oh, because there is a shadow side for 2019. Of course there has to be. Okay, 2019, coming together. People coming together, mm -hmm. collectiveness, community, okay? Fun, humor, and wit. I'm fitting right in. <laughs> Goofy, like goofy, like sarcastic, that fits in there too. Yeah. But like laughing, getting back to what makes us smile and creates happiness for us. Um, optimism. AKA Delisa. AKA the Sagittarius Delisa. Um, glass always half full. Gotta figure out a way to make it half full. Um, so a lot of optimism this year, which is good. I mean, who doesn't need that? Be optimistic. Isn't that a song? I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. Is that a song? 
don't okay. think so. Akuna Matata. Akuna Matata. Yeah, no, I don't. I've never seen The Lion King. Oh, we're so going. <laughs> I'll bring it to your house, and when you're not looking, I'm gonna look in your freezer. <laughs> Uh, okay, so we left off with optimism. Yeah. Self-care. Ooh, how many of you are not taking good care of yourself? How many of you showered today? I don't want to know that. If you didn't shower, just don't tell us. Work out, eat healthy, love yourself. Yeah, self-care is a big one. That's one that I definitely have to work on in the coming year. I'm like full steam ahead. I've got the vision. I've got the marketing. Like I've got all that business stuff. But then it's like, <laughs> Delisa, what? <laughs> How many? Okay, I really haven't eaten a meal yet. I was today. just gonna ask you. And Did what you? I did on the car ride over, because I was running behind, because of the million people in line at the post office, I found a half-eaten um, protein <laughs> bar in the bat bottom of my purse, and I ate it as I was walking up here. So I definitely need self care. <laughs> All was right. It, was it hard? It was okay. Like, it was a little crunchy in parts like where it shouldn't have been. But yeah, oh. that's. I mean, it's it's all right. Okay. I'm gonna make do. After this, I'm gonna go get something to eat. Uh, <laughs> before my clients start coming in. <clears throat> all right, next one. Joy. Uh, yeah. Joy to the world. It's 2019. <laughs> Joy is a very, very, very high vibration. It's probably one of the highest that you can get to, mm -hmm. and so. I mean, joy is a big theme for 2019 universally. So you look at this, coming together, fun, humor, wit, optimism, self-care, joy. We've got creativity. Doesn't mean you have to go like get a paintbrush and make a canvas, but I would encourage you to find outlets to use your right brain. And whether that's dance or music or wanting to create something new in your life, that would be a big energy for this year. And the next would be self-expression. Mm, that ties in together. What I like about creativity is it keeps me in the flow and in the energy and in my feelings. In your feelings? Yeah. That might be a Drake song. In my feelings? Probably. Maybe? I, I don't know. It's about <laughs> Claire Audient gifts. I'm hearing voices. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's normal. We hear voices all the time. It's not me. <laughs> Okay, so creativity, self-expression, communication. Communication both with your own inner dialogue and then how you're speaking to others. So um, you all have that inner voice. It's time to look at the inner voice and determine if your inner voice is kind. Mm. And if it's not, you gotta change, flip the script on your inner voice. Um, and how you are using your words to communicate with other people. There will be, uh, we'll get to it in a second, but there will be a lot of energy this year around what it is that needs to be said based on what you are feeling to be your truth. And so getting very clear about what it is you stand for and what your truth is. I'm gonna have to write a letter. <laughs> uh, also for 2019, uh, seeing new possibilities. So being more open-minded to what's possible. Okay. So that's a good energy. Think outside the box. Thinking outside the box. Yep. Um, upgrading yourself and learning something new. Hmm. So what are you learning? To be patient and listen. <laughs> Being patient and listen. Oh, I definitely need a dose of patience. Yeah, I, wa I wasn't born with that. Um, and learning something new. So we actually, if you happen to live in Las Vegas or you're nearby and you want to come and spend the weekend with us, January 26th, I am teaching Psychic Development Certification Level 1 at Spirit and Spark. And the next day, you're doing the Reiki 1 attainment. Reiki 1 certification on the 27th. So if you're thinking about coming, I didn't realize it was like, come from out of town and spend the weekend with us. But they yeah, certainly could. You could do that and stay here. Yeah. In not Vegas. A, yeah, in Vegas. We don't have a bed at Spirit and Spark for you, but you can come and hang out with us. But yeah, the 26th and 27th. So... I think, I have a feeling a few people that are listening to this right now are saying, sign me up for that weekend. So where so, do they find that information? It's on spiritandspark.com, and you can go on the class calendar, and you can find both of those. Yeah. And they're reasonably priced. Psychic level one right now, early bird is 150 and that class is five hours. And then um, your Reiki level one is 150 and it's all day from one to seven. Mm -hmm. So it'd actually be perfect. 
Psychic One certification and Reiki One certification. You'd be like all hitting the ground running. Together. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next up, energy for 2019. The ability to inspire and uplift others. I hope that's what we do with our Facebook, Instagram live videos. Like give you something, give you some content. So ask yourself, how can you inspire and give to other people? Be a good big question for you this year. Uh, going back to the point I made a minute ago, speaking your truth, but also knowing your truth. What is your truth? Uh, that's going to be a big one um, for you this year. So I'm not saying, you know, hold back all the way, but I am saying make sure this year that you are choosing your words uh, more clearly and with more intention. So think before you throw up. As a Sagittarius, and all my Sagittarius people out there, you understand, we don't have a filter. So this is going to be a bit of a challenge this year. The moon's in Sagittarius, by the way, today. Oh. Yeah. Same. Just saying? Just saying. Might be, might be a good day for us Sagittarius people. Yeah. Everything's <laughs> magnified today. Everything is magnified. Are you Sagittarius? Okay. Uh, 2019, other energy. Uh, the healthy boundaries, which we talked about. Um, uh, yeah, healthy boundaries. Oof, there's a lot of people out there that need to work on that. I, I continuously work on healthy boundaries. Um, and then the big question you're going to ask yourself for 2019 is going to be, what do I want? What do I want? So that's going to be your big question to yourself this year. So you can start thinking about that and what do you want? And if you know, post, let us know. We'd love to hear where you're at. Okay, the uh, shadow side of 2019. This is where our lessons and like our fun growth stuff comes. Okay, emotional sensitivity. Hmm, yay. I'm a, a little <laughs> sensitive and emotional, so I don't know. <laughs> Emotional sensitivity, the good, the bad, and the ugly. This will be showing up in your life through triggers, emotional triggers that will ask you to heal them. So whenever, I'm getting from that whenever I feel triggered, um, take a breath and sit back and see where that's coming from. Yes. Why do I feel this way? Yeah, because yeah. newsflash. If you're feeling something, it's never about someone else. <laughs> Very true. If you are feeling something, it always has to do with you. Yes. Yeah. But look at the trigger and why is it triggering you? Yeah. There's always something underneath why you're feeling that way. So. No one can make you feel any way. Nope. You got to own your stuff this year. Okay. The other part of the shadow side of 2019 focus and staying on track and getting things done. So I've done some, you know, research on what other people were thinking about 2019 and tuned in psychically myself to see what this meant. And uh, a lot of it is, ooh, shiny object. Like kind of seeing sparkle and superficial things and kind of getting off track and getting derailed. And so this year is going to require you to stay more focused on what it is that you want to get done and seeing it to the finish line. So don't get distracted. Okay. okay. And then the last part, which we've talked about um, already is choosing your words carefully. But the second part is not participating in gossip. Yeah. You know, it's interesting. I was listening to uh, a business podcast this morning because I listen to a lot of business podcasts. And um, Gary Vaynerchuk, who I love, love him. If you haven't like watched his stuff or listened to it, he's got a podcast, The Gary V Experience. And the thing I was listening to this morning, somebody asked him, what do you think about all the haters out there that like comment on your stuff and they say that you're this awful person? He's like, listen, I put myself out there like we're doing today. We put ourselves out there. We try and share meaningful content. We try to be helpful. Um, and if somebody is going to spread negativity or, or hatred or put us down or try to, it just shows 
how hurt they are as an individual. Mm -hmm. And he said at the end of the day, those people don't matter to him. They don't affect him whatsoever. The people that matter to him are the ones that actually know him. And if their opinion is that he's not a good guy or, you know, he's not helpful, then that's what bothers him. And so he's like, I, you know, I, I re he says, I read everything. I read all the comments. I read everybody that stops by and watches his videos. But he says, I really just look at those people and feel sad for them. And so when you have an opportunity to do something kind this year, when you have the ability to connect with someone in a meaningful way uh, and talk to them, uh, I would encourage you every step of the way to do it. And that's going to be a big part of 2019. Being kind. Being mm -hmm. kind. Being kind to yourself, though, as well. Because you can get to a point where you're giving too much to other people and then you're not giving enough to yourself. Mm -hmm. So this year is going to require you to look at what you're doing for yourself, your own self-care. Are you meeting the goals that you want to achieve? But then also looking outward to the community around you. And when you have the opportunity to choose kindness, the universe is going to ask you to do that this year. Yeah. Um, I liked what you said also about when people say negative or low vibrational things. They're the ones that are hurting and it's just a reflection of themselves. It's not really you. And those are the ones that need love the most too. Yeah. Yeah. Because what other people think about you is none of your business. Amen. I say it all the time. <laughs> I need that reminder a lot. <laughs> Yeah. So comment, let us know before we get into these ratings here, let us know what that felt like um, wrapping up 2018 and what you now know is coming for 2019. How does that feel to you? Comment. We'd love to, to hear if that resonated with you. It resonated with me for sure. And I am just so excited for what this year is going to bring. We're going to be doing more of these live videos and trying to connect with our audience in a meaningful way, providing you with content uh, so that you can live your best life. That's why we're here. This is why we do what we do. We want this to be a meaningful interaction between us and, and you. Uh, and so we're looking forward to what that brings this year and... Who we get to meet. I always think that's so funny when you look at like you're at the beginning of January. I always like start dreaming. I'm like, and not even like in a romantic sense, although yeah, that would be awesome. But I sit there and I'm like, gosh, if I could wave like a magic wand and see where I'm at on December 31st, 2019 and think back of the year I just had, I wonder what that's going to be like. All right, hold on. Give me a second. I'm going to channel it right now. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> I'm like, are you going to read me? Uh, we'll do it after the video is over. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to our audience. They're, they're the ones waiting patiently. Um, so Jennifer and I were laughing because right before we jumped on, we were like putting oil all over ourselves. So I wanted to tell you the one that, uh, that I love. It's Valor. And this one's actually Valor too, but there's Valor and, mm -hmm. and Valor too. And it's Young Living. Love Young Living. Um, and Valor is really good. I put it on like third eye crown. I do throat, I do heart. And then I take a few deep breaths and then I put it over my orc field on my body. And Valor is really good for, um, being courageous and doing what it takes to like get to that finish line. Uh, and so if you are in need of, mm -hmm. of some courage for this year, you might consider that. If you need more information on Young Living, just send us a private message and we'd be happy to give that to you. Um, but yeah, and it smells amazing it smells like purple I know that oh. sounds funny but <laughs> well, it is purple yeah and the that oil is actually good. a purplish blue and they're all pure there's nothing like synthetic but it's just it's natural color but yeah so we love oils we use them a lot here uh okay I've got three decks of cards out you've got your magical messages from the fairy cards purple to match the oil <laughs> and your shirt oh yeah we must have a theme going on today that I didn't know about <laughs> So I've got a few different cards. I've got uh, Daily Guidance from Your Angels, which was my first deck. I've got the Power of Surrender cards. And then I've got the Answer is Simple. So these are all really great. So just depending on what question comes in, I'll probably pick up a deck and see what, what happens. <laughs> question. 
in. Okay, so now we're gonna get to your question. So um, we're gonna spend a little bit of time doing this and we'll see, I know, I love this. We've got our three accounts going and uh, a lot of people are tuning in, so it's a lot of fun. Um, so let's go ahead and take your question. So if you've got one, please post it. What works best is a psychic question. So that would be something about your life that you want us to look at. So anything going on in your life or direction that you're seeking, uh, that would be great. So those are the ones we're going to focus on. And a specific question helps in this type of format because we can get through more a lot faster. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Oh, hi, Chris, thanks for joining. Okay, so Michelle's asking, what is something exciting that will come my way this year? Okay. <laughs> Ooh, my question back to you, if we were sitting in a session one-on-one, -on -one <laughs> would be, um, are you in a romantic relationship? Because that's actually the first energy that starts coming forward for you. And it feels like committed romantic relationship. That's what came into a love, uh, marriage or renewing of vows. Uh, I got marriage. Marriage. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was sweet. Yeah, so... Yeah, I would say that's that would exciting. be fun and exciting. I hope we get invited to the wedding. Yeah, can you invite us, please? I'll get you a gift. <laughs> Okay, let's go to the next question. Um, okay, Chris wants to know, I'm wanting a career change. Is there anything coming soon? <sighs> yes, but I feel that you see that and it's gonna, it's in your future. But then once you're about to go forward, you take a step back. Um, it's time to leave your past behind. To move forward if you're trying to move forward and you're carrying on all of your luggage from the past it's gonna be a little heavier and harder to achieve so let go and surrender which yep. makes sense because I heard pick up the surrender deck <laughs> okay so Chris let's see what comes forward for what you could use assistance with and really letting go mm. ah surrender to effortlessness is the card that comes forward so this card is about really allowing the universe to step in and help you and that you don't have to get tied up in the how it's going to all happen, yeah. but instead release, let go, surrender so that you can be in a vibration that is in alignment with allowing more high vibrational things to come forward. They're saying like clean, keep cleaning your closet. But yeah, I do think that you have um, a new job coming, but I still, I get like that stickiness feeling of uh, you got to really like tie things up, let things go. And then it's like, yep, it's right there. Mm -hmm. So there's a little bit more self work that has to be done, but you're, they're saying you're on the right track. Okay. Okay. Ask your questions. Let's see. Uh, do, do, do. Um, Pamela, new career for me and kidney transplant for husband this year. Well, we're going to take your question, Pamela, uh, Pamela, about your new career, um, since your husband isn't on. So let's go ahead and tap into Pamela and career. Okay. okay. I'm getting yes for sure. Um, for new career, I'm going to look to see if there's any themes or any information about the new career that's coming up. I feel like it's a total change. I love this when the cards come up. Uh, my card was business venture for you. <laughs> Trust and follow through on a new business idea or career opportunity. So confirmation. Believe yeah. You said yes. I mean, yeah, it's there. It's there. Uh, and it feels like a total deviation from what you're doing right now, but that you'll be really happy. And they're showing me like uh, weights being lifted off of your shoulders. So it'll be a, a good move. And they're showing like a lot of joy and optimism, which were themes for this year. So yeah, mm -hmm. you're definitely on the right track. Um, be open, be open, but you have a lot of momentum mm -hmm. and energy behind you. So, and it feels like it's right here. I don't even feel like you're going to have to wait that long. Um, but they're saying like, get really excited about your life. Okay, perfect. Okay. Let's look and see. Do, do, do. Oh, we've got a first time watcher over here. Hi. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Um, perfect. So, um, Holly wants to know how her finances are going to look this year. So Holly and finances. The first thing I'm actually hearing for you, Holly, is um, self-worth and how it ties to money. 
Um, and why I kind of like laughed a little bit beforehand was because they said everyone needs to hear this. <laughs> so if you're watching our video right now, um, you need to hear and, and recognize within yourself um, about the relationship that you have with money and how it ties to your self-worth. Um, because when I, Holly, when I look at yours, it kind of does this, this chart like this. And so anytime I see that, it feels like it's tied uh, to elements in your life that go like this. So I would just watch spending habits more closely this year. Um, I do think they're saying it's possible for you to stabilize more with your finances, um, but that you've got to get really clear about what it is that you want and what you are worthy of um, and that you don't have to... You don't, they're saying you don't have to put yourself second place. I think that will make sense to you. Um, but for everybody watching, like what is your relationship with money? Do you give money power over you? Do you give superficial things like the shiny object syndrome we were talking about a little while ago? Do you give those things more importance in your life rather than your own self-care and really digging into your heart and determining what it is that you want? I know that was a lot, but. That was good. What I'm getting is also paying off um, debt, meaning paying your bills. But every time you pay your bills, say thank you. Give it, give it, and say thank you. You know, thank you for the what I received and the abundance and the experience that it offered. And being grateful for that. Yeah, one thing I actually started doing was when I have to pay a bill mm -hmm. that I'm like, ooh, yeah. I pay the bill and I say, thank you for bringing this back to me double. Hey, okay, I like that. <laughs> yeah. Why not? We're the, we're the only ones that get in our own way. Yeah, that's true. I should start saying, bring it back to me triple. <laughs> but like, I'm starting with double. I'm starting <laughs> practicing. <laughs> okay, let's see what's next. Uh, my gosh, we have so many questions coming in. Was oh. there one that you feel drawn to? Hi, Stephanie. Oh, oh, let's get one from here. Let's okay, perfect. Over here. Yeah. Oh, we are live. Yeah, we're live. People yeah. are asking if we're really sitting here. No, we're... we're this is real. We're really here. I'm touching <laughs> her right now. Okay. Yeah, and it is January 3rd. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay, so uh, Kimberly wants to know if there's a special relationship this year. Mm. Mm, Kimberly, special relationship. Ooh, okay. Oh, this is not the answer you're gonna that you thought you were going to get. <laughs> but the first thing they said is you've got to make sure you have a stronger relationship with yourself. And now we're gonna look at the romantic piece, okay? Because I know that's not the answer you were looking for. Um, okay, romantic special relationship. Someone you know already coming back, like emerging back in. I heard I heard the word emerge. Mm -hmm. and it feels like so. What well, they're showing me because a lot of what we see is uh, visualized. They show me like you're driving on the freeway and then they're like merging, <laughs> they're like merging into traffic. So yeah, emerging, merging, um, like coming into your life in an interesting way. He has dark hair. Mm. Dark hair. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you will have a special relationship this year. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're showing me more with like hearts um uh, it's why i kind of look off as we do these they just show me all kinds of things i'm watching like a little movie but they show me hearts um but they keep going back to relationship with yourself and making sure you understand what it is that you want in a romantic partnership um but they're saying make sure that it's your own definition and that you're not making a decision based on what other people want for you Springtime oh. says your desires fully manifest as the flowers begin to bloom with love and spring. Spring's like right here. That's like tomorrow. <laughs> Spring's like in five minutes. Yeah, so you're right there. There's no such thing as time either. So yeah, yeah, time's an illusion. Right so now. we're in spring. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> so let us know in the spring if Mr. Dark Hair comes forward. Uh, we love hearing from everyone we've done readings for, and when that confirmation happens, mm -hmm. it, it, it's fun to know that what we said 
uh, is happening. So yeah, that's good. Yeah. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, oh, we have a question. Do you guys do readings? We do. Uh, you can go to spiritandspark.com and we've got all of our bios on there. You can schedule a, a session. Um, but yeah, we're on spiritandspark.com. And we did mention a little bit ago, if you're just tuning in, Jennifer and I are doing a weekend because we didn't even realize we were doing it on a weekend together. I'm doing Saturday. She's doing Sunday. So I'm teaching psychic development certification level one and she is doing Reiki level one on Sunday. Uh, so if you are in town, <clears throat> January 26th and 27th, or you want to make a weekend out of it and come to Vegas, join us at Spirit and Spark, and we'll get you certified psychic development level one and Reiki level one. So it'll be a lot of fun. But yes, we do readings. <laughs> Just like we're doing now, except we do it for you alone, and we can do them over the phone or in person in, at our Las Vegas location. The moon's okay. in Sagittarius, you guys. I wasn't kidding. She's just like a ball full of energy today. It's like nonstop. Like the Energizer Bunny. I love it. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I am excited for this year. I know. I know. It's like beaming out of me. No, I'm like, I feel it. Like, I'm like, yeah, I'm happy. This feels good. I mean, Sagittarius's are naturally optimistic. So when you put a universal energy on top of it that is also optimistic, like, watch out. Like, watch out. <laughs> Okay. Ooh. Okay. We yeah, get, let, let's take, questions. yeah, let's take a couple more. We'll okay. take like two more. Okay. Um, do, do, do. Krista wants to know her love life. we got a lot of people asking about love. All right. Krista and your love life. What do you see this year? Mm hmm. Krista's love life. I'm going to switch decks. I keep hearing the, the love and marriage, love and marriage, that song. And, um, Married with children. Yeah, and then <laughs> I see boys, kids, um, a, a boy, um, children. Hmm. So, Krista, please comment on this video and let us know um, if you have children or if you're thinking about having children. Uh, yeah, they're, they keep... <laughs> This would be us. You got the card. Seek an expert. That's what you're doing. So congratulations. You're one step there. Um, Krista's love. Yeah, it, I'm pulling up your energy and I'm just like looking to see what's coming up for you. And I keep seeing like this. They're saying pony wall. So pony wall is like a shorter wall. But like you could get over it. Like if you really wanted to, you could... And so they're showing me with her, like, there's this energy that's in front of her that she needs to... Yeah, and then I'm getting, are you ready? <coughs> are you ready? Is what they're saying to ask. Because that changes everything. It could be right there, but are you ready? So you got to look at your pony wall, which is the energy that's um, stopping you from moving forward. So what I would do is I'd go on like YouTube and type in heart chakra guided meditation. I would do a heart chakra meditation and see what comes up for you and what you really feel in your heart about love and if that's something that you want to bring forward in your life. And if you do, what does that look like and feel like to you? We were talking uh, a little while ago about how you have to believe it before you see it. So you've got to feel that in your heart. You've got to know that it's possible, you know, tune into that creativity and that imagination and, and feel what it's like to have that person in your life and then let that be your guiding force to actually finding them. And um, also, this is a great reminder. You might ask for something, but then when you actually experience it, it's going to feel like something you've never felt before because you've never experienced it. So... Be mindful of that as well. Yeah. Oh, we've got somebody watching asking if we're doing live readings. Another person. Yeah. No, we're like really here. <laughs> yes, we're doing live readings. Welcome to the party. Yeah. So uh, we were doing these on a really regular ba on a regular basis before um, the holidays, and then the holidays came and everything was crazy and everyone was doing their own thing. But yeah, we're. We're getting back into it. Uh, we generally post on Facebook and Instagram when um, the next one is scheduled for. So if you like us, 
So follow us on Instagram. Um, um, you do like us. I, I hope you yeah. like us. <sighs> But if you go on um, facebook.com backslash spirit and spark, that's our Facebook fan page. Uh, and we post a lot on there too. So follow us on Instagram and Facebook and you'll probably see us about once a week or so. Uh, but yeah, we love to come on and do readings for people and we do it for free because we love it and we want to connect with you um, and also let you know that we exist, that we're here to help. Uh, so yeah, spiritandspark.com. And uh, we actually have a freebie on there. Um, it's 10 ways to spark results through manifestation. So if you go on and click that, fill that out, uh, we'll send you that free guide. Just a tip sheet on ways that you can manifest things that you want in your life. So, okay, for real. Yeah, no, for real. <laughs> uh, yeah, so comment. Let us know where you're watching from today. We're going to get ready to close this out in one second. Um, but let us know where you were watching from. And uh, let us know if you liked the 2018 wrap up, 2019 energy themes that are coming forward. And uh, we'd love your feedback. And if there's something, a topic that you want us to talk about or a topic that you want us to do a Q&A around, let us know. We do go through these comments and look at them. So if you have a suggestion for what you want us to jump on and, and do a Facebook and Instagram live about, let us know. Um, you know, we, we teach a lot of different classes and we do a lot of readings for a lot of people and we ultimately want to be here as a source for you, um, especially as we go through this next year. And we want you to live your best life and to feel really happy about where you're at and what you're doing. And so if you need help getting there, then let us know. Spiritandspark.com. Why don't we do uh, a message for everyone watching? And so let's tune into the universe. So this is going to be everyone that's watching this video. There's going to be something that you, the universe would like you to hear today. Okay. So if you're watching this, there is no accident. Okay. So let's go ahead and tune in. The first thing that's coming up that I'm hearing for everyone watching is that you are not alone. And even when you feel like you might be, um, that you're not and that you're surrounded by angelic beings that want to be with you on this journey. Um, I will do that. So they're, <laughs> they're reminding me of something I was thinking about yesterday that I think all of you need to hear. And it, and it talks a little bit about what we were discussing earlier. Um, even when you feel like your world is falling apart and that you can't see a way out, please have faith that things are going to get better. Um, I was reminded yesterday by spirit of a situation uh, that happened early 2018 where there was a scathing, horrible um, review about me online. And it was nothing about my, me, my services, anything like that, but just a personal attack. And I remember standing in my kitchen bawling my eyes out. And I cried and I cried and I cried because I didn't know how I had gotten to that point and that somebody would be so hurtful. Um, and then yesterday I found out that Spirit and Spark won an award from Yelp um, because of all of the amazing reviews that we got in 2018. And it was interesting to think back that several months before that, that I had cried and cried and cried my eyes out because I thought that one person's viewpoint of me was earth shattering to now come full circle with that award from Yelp. It was, it was interesting. So the message is for all of you that even when you think that things are so bad or somebody is treating you poorly or said something about you or that gossip we talked about earlier, please know that that's just a moment in time, but that it's not going to define who you are or what you're meant to do. That was awesome. Thank you. I really felt that. <laughs> I almost started crying a little bit. Yeah. <sighs> but you came out on top. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> how do how do I say anything about that? <laughs> well, we do we do have uh, so Brandy who's who has not made an appearance on this Facebook Live. She's holding up a sign for me. So go ahead and hold it up again so I can actually tell people like what this is. It's the full moon. The full moon. We've got a calendar behind us. The oh, the blood moon. The, the blood, blood moon, moon, wolf moon, full moon. And it's Brandy and Jennifer and our astrologer, Virginia. And that's on January 21st at Spirit and Spark. And so you should come hang out with the three of them uh, for the full moon ritual, uh, January 21st. It's at spiritandspark.com on the online calendar. <laughs> Glad I saw your sign, Brandy. Um, so is there, anything, is there anything, Jennifer, that you would like to say? Oh, I love everyone. Um, I'm excited to bring in this 2019, um, not only with Delisa, but our Spirit and Spark team yeah. here that um, you provided me a home that I get to work out of, and I'm so grateful for that and to be here on this live video because we do. We are here to inspire and to create awareness and consciousness and strive. We all want to be on top, not just you, not just me, all of us together with love. Yeah. Yeah. We all want to have a happier life, and so yeah. we can all achieve it together. So thank you for spending some time with us today. We're so yeah. grateful for all of you. And until next time, live your best life. Bye. <laughs> have a wonderful day. Okay, bye, everybody.